it's Simi from Simi Sweet Life and today's an exciting and long overdue video. This is my flip through of my Franken planner for the first half of the year. So this was January through the end of June. We went on a vacation and took up a lot of July for that. Also my kids were home all summer so I'm just way behind on all the videos I had intended to film. So this is just gonna be the flip through. So I ended up combining Erin Condren and Moxie Life pages in this planner. I have videos on how I set up my Franken planners and I love the coil on this. I will end up taking this off and keeping this coil to repurpose for later. Also the covers are reusable so I can reuse the covers. But we're just gonna flip through all of these pages. So it's basically six months of two different planners and you'll see I start off really strong in certain things and quickly just do not do them anymore and you'll see that throughout this and I feel like for the most part I was really good about sticking with um, my weekly pages and my goal setting pages but you know some things fell off so I've got some of the prep stuff in the beginning I've got my yearly goals all mapped out here never do these vision board pages they just they're so intimidating to me having a full-on blank page I just never never update them. And then I put in the Erin Condren tabs because I like them way better than the Moxie Life tabs. Moxie Life has like a navy-ish color for their tabs and I do not like them at all. So that was one of the reasons I combined in the first place is I wanted it all to look like the Erin Condren stuff. Fit the Erin Condren covers because Moxie Life has one more spiral ring. So I had to cut down the Moxie Life pages to stick them in here so I could use the Erin Condren coil and the Erin Condren covers and the Erin Condren tabs. I, and there's some pages that Olivia wrote in um, for some dance stuff and I have a page here that was ripped out I can see. Never really use these monthly calendars. I tried out you know using some of the post-it notes so these Moxie Life post-it notes fit perfectly in the boxes you can see. I was thinking I would use it for an editorial calendar a little bit. Have not really done that but I'll show you guys um, in my other one. So this is my actual YouTube videos and I did end up setting up. I had to cut them down a little bit but it's so cute. This way I can keep track and go back and see how many videos I actually put up. So this was June and I didn't end up doing two videos a week and here was July. I really like the post-it note idea. It just having this one separated from the monthly just totally didn't work at all so I didn't find this very functional in real life. We got goal setting. So we move in from the Moxie Life pages to some of the Erin Condren pages. Got my weeklies. I'm gonna take this out because I don't want this to block any of my view here, but that's the clear folio from Erin Condren. So looking in, I'm using sticker kits. So each month will pretty much look the same. I have one month where I didn't purchase the Hubbin and Chub Girl kit. I just used different stickers. So from week to week, that would change. And then, like this, I had some changes in the schedule. I wrote in the dance and preschool before I realized it was um, a no school day. Freezing temps, boil water notice, they canceled school, so I covered it up. All the appointments and stuff go in here. I tend to use some like washi tape strip at the bottom to decorate. I also love covering up the monthly calendar, the little mini calendar. I hate them, cover them up. But pretty much, you know, same looking thing every week. And then I have a weekly reflection, weekly actions in here. And this is where I move into the Moxie Life portion of the month. And you'll see, this is where I just totally fell off. So this right here, walking through this one, if you've seen my mid-year update, you'll know why I switched because of this. Because the weekly action pages are on the back of weekly pages. And I thought, oh, how am I going to use these weekly pages? Because I don't ever use the Moxie Life weekly pages. I use the Erin Condren pages. And so I'm like, oh, I'll do a photo a day. And you'll see I clearly fell off of this super quickly. So I got my photo a day and like a bonus one here in the little notes section. Didn't use the habit tracker. But I'm like, okay, great. I'm using the pages. Will I ever go back in this planner and flip through it aside from just showing you guys? Absolutely not. So this is like sort of a waste of my time where I could have like done scrapbooking or I could have done it in a separate book, which I tried to do it in a separate book and totally failed at that too. But at this point I'm like, okay, photo a day, really trying to do it. Wrote a little snippet of each thing, love how it looks. But again, will not go back like I will as a scrapbook. I just won't, I won't keep my planners and go back to them. Then I got my weekly reflections, actions, another week where I'm like, yes, I'm on top of it. I got my week planned out all my pictures in, super duper cute. I love the way it looks. Then goal setting in between. 
And then another week, I'm like, okay, I'm sticking with it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Keep it all nice and neat. Weekly actions. And then I was like, ugh, it's too much work. I gotta print the photos, get them all in a little small size, cut them down, put in all my stuff. Totally didn't happen, and then it never happened again. I got three weeks worth of it, and then I was like, ugh, I'm gonna keep these pages blank. So the rest of this book, they're blank. And that's why, moving forward, I didn't end up sticking in my Moxie Life pages, because I just don't like having all the extra bulk for wasted space. I don't usually tend to do the monthly reflections, but here and there I will end up doing them. Nothing on the calendar. Again, more stuff. I was using this as a washi graveyard. Tried again, keep my little calendar, but it was hard when all my YouTube stuff is in here. Didn't set up those pages, but then got into my weekly pages, which I am really consistent about setting these guys up. Except like summertime, you'll see some blanks in the summer, but these ones I just love. I think they're beautiful. I love keeping everything on track. And then my goal setting pages. So I like this spread, don't like the weekly spread. Didn't end up using it for this week for some reason. Didn't end up using it for this week for some reason. Back to it this week. We had like two weeks span I didn't end up using it. And I find that some weeks I don't use it because we have like dance competition weekends and I just don't end up doing it if we're like gone the entire weekend. It's like we'll leave Thursday or Friday, be gone through the end of Sunday. And then I just don't have a great time to do my weekly reflections and I just kind of skip it sometimes. So here's where we got competition, got busy weekends coming up. I was trying to map it out here and then never stick with using these monthlies. More things for Libby. And then again, setting up the calendar, not sticking with it. Monthly goals, blank pages, weekly pages. And then here's where I think, yeah, so this one, I'm doing different things from week to week. This was the last week of February into March. And then I started using different kits every week because I didn't get the March subscription kit. It was koi ponds, so like fish and little ponds. I didn't love it. So I just went back and used old collections. So try to use up some old collection stickers. And then this is like a stationary set. And I use rainbow unicorns, which is a fun one. I still have a lot of the rainbow unicorn stuff. So each one of those weeks was a little different. Didn't use this. I tested out all the post-it notes and highlighters on this page for a video. And I was testing them out in various spots for the video. Didn't do a reflection, but got my weekly actions in. Again, like these bug me that this is in here that's just completely blank and wasted. Again, no reflection, but weekly actions. That tends to be what I do sometimes. Whole spread there. Blank. Did my monthly reflections this time. Hardly ever do any of their compass assessments. Moving into April. I did, I think, purchase the monthly kit for this one. Also, we got some planner launch stuff from Erin Condren, so I swatched some washi. Didn't end up putting in the editorial calendar here. Got monthly goals. So just a combination of both of those planners. And then, yeah, this one's cute. It was dinos. Love it. And very rarely do I actually stick with the actual habit trackers. I really tried sometimes, and then most of the time I just don't, don't ever go back to it. And here's Go Wild. I think I went back and filled this out later, or maybe I set it up before I left, but I did not do this like in real time. I really like this. I love going back and looking at it. So here's end of the month stuff into the beginning of April here. Again, blank pages. Really good about doing some reflecting. Blank pages. Still reflecting. Blank pages. <laughs> really nice long reflecting there. Into the month. And again, hardly ever do these ones. And now we're into May, which I did get a kit for May as well, but I don't remember right off hand. Again, like don't use these monthlies hardly ever. And so here is May goals. And then last week of April moving into May, I switched to the koalas kit. It is super cute. I tried out the stencil bookmark. I have it in the beginning of the book right now because I'm done with this planner. 
I tried out the wavy lines and I thought it looked kind of silly. And then here I was using some of these. I ended up purchasing some of the Pip Sticks Hello Kitty subscriptions. This is my last one. I'll do a whole video on that at some point. That's on my list too. So I tried out using some of their little labels that came with that pack and was using up a sticker sheet. I thought it looked cute. And now we're into the weekly action and reflection pages. Blank page. A little reflecting there. Blank page. That one was good. Blank page again. You can see like most weeks I'm pretty good about goal setting. Not always so good about the reflecting part of it. These pages are just such a waste, you know? Like, like I have set up in my daily duo now. Like... You know, this planner's not a cheap planner, and so I don't need to get one every year if I'm not gonna even utilize the whole thing. I'll get either companion notebooks or just redo it in a different planner and skip ordering a Moxie Life for this year, which is crazy because I love Moxie Life. It's one of my favorite ones. I love their goal setting, love the Moxie Life group. Highly, highly recommend it. But if you're not gonna use those weekly pages, you know, they don't have a weekly hourly. I just want those pages. Those, I want this page right here every week and I can't just get that page like if they have like a really slim line notebook where it's just these pages and note pages I would do it I would do it in a heartbeat the paper's kind of like blue tinted whereas the other one's more like an ivory white this one's like blue tinted it doesn't fit in the ear and condren coil so I had to chop all these pages down it's just not my favorite as far as logistics of it. I love all their accessories. I love their color coding. I love their goal setting system. I love their Club Moxie system. I just don't love their planner. I feel like their planner could be so much better than it is. So that's where I'm like, Ugh, do I even want to buy one this year? Because I don't love that their covers aren't the same covers. They don't fit with the Erin Condren stuff. It just doesn't work for me. So I think moving into next year, I won't purchase one. That's where I get hung up, it's right there. So moving forward into here, let's just let's just keep flipping. I've got into my gripe about Moxie Life, where it's just like, I want to love them. Why are they one coil bigger? That's a deal breaker for me, is I have to cut down all the pages and stick them together. It's just a pain in the butt to try to do that, and they don't fit. Like, the sizing of the paper is even different. Like, see, the Moxie Life ones are like, so many millimeters shorter and they just don't jive well together. It's just, it's a hot mess when I try to Frank and plan them together. So you don't like this page that's wasted. Reflections, wasted pages, reflections, wasted pages. And then the last I didn't use. Okay, last month, and again, gratitude. I set this one up, I went back and maybe flipped through the same thing again. So I set up my gratitude thing. Oh, I'll use my gratitude in here. And then get so far in, skip a day, and then I was like, screw it, I'm not doing any of it, and don't ever go back to it. Goals, and this is when the kids are home, so my goals are much smaller. I knew we were going to nationals as well, so I just kept everything light because I knew we were traveling for a week in June. And I used the last bit of the uh, koala kit there. And then I moved into um, the strawberry kit. It's super cute. It's like strawberry harvest, but it's pink cows and strawberries. So it's like right up my alley with the perfect cute pinkiness. Moved into that. And then counted down for our cruise vacation. And then like this is where summer starts. Like this week was busy because we still had um, recitals and stuff. Still full on dance schedule. But here's where summer starts, so there's not a whole lot that we put in some of these weeks. See, like camps, preschools. Here's our goal setting stuff. But there's just not a whole lot of planning going on in the summertime. I still was keeping up with my goals, weekly action pages. Trying to throw in some washi here and there to make it cute. There's a sticker here and there to make it cute. And then that's the end. So I loved the EC Hourly for the last, what, almost two years or full on two years. I loved the EC Hourly. Tried to combine it with the Moxie Life and the Moxie Life just did not fully work for me. I want 
I want just these pages as dated pages, like I want the date here because they have some spiral bound ones that are just the monthly calendar and these pages and they back to back. So this page would be a dot grid and they lose this weekly setup. But again, I'm still having to chop it down to even fit it in here and the two different colors of paper, just the two different sizes of paper. It's just not a great Franken plan option. I've tried it now twice and both times I've been left feeling the same thing. It's like something's gotta give and go with the A5 companion notebooks or repurpose it in my other planner like I showed in my mid-year planner review video. So you guys have seen that or you will have seen that after this, I'll link it down below. You can go watch it. It's just that part of it's just not been great. But anyway, hope you guys like this flip through and my thoughts moving forward and why I changed to the way I did change to. This explains a lot of that in this video because I just was wasting so much time and effort assembling it and then having all those wasted pages and bulk in here. It's just not great. I've kept consistent with the Erin Condren Hourly now for two years. I'm moving into my third Erin Condren Hourly because I can change the covers or I can recoil it and put a new coil on there. And it gives me a lot of options like that. And I may end up combining my daily duo and my monthly together in one Erin Condren just to have them in one instead of having to carry two of these around. That way I'd have all of it in one, but I haven't done it yet. I'm just, you know, the second month into my Erin Condren goodness. And I think it would have to be like a three month planner if I were to do that. So I haven't done it yet, but I may end up going that route coming up soon. So I'm thinking I really would like to keep my goal setting pages separately because having the two colors of paper and switching like sizing of the papers a little bit off and then having to chop down everything because the spirals are a little bit different sized. I think I'm just gonna give up Franken planning the two company planners together. Now, Moxie Life has announced they are coming out with interchangeable and reversible covers, which is amazing. I saw the little snippet of it. And then I did have an affiliate meeting with everybody. Of course, everything's top secret, but I have picked out my affiliate goodies. And when I'm allowed to share that with you guys in October, I absolutely will. But it was game changing information about the covers. So I'm thinking I will Franken plan my two Erin Condrens together so I don't have two spiral bound Erin Condrens. And then I can have a spiral bound Moxie life as well. So yeah, the covers, total game changer for me. I was feeling kind of blah about the Moxie Life covers the last few years. They're gorgeous. I just have not loved the materials options that they've offered. And I am so used to the Erin Condren covers because they are interchangeable. And then it makes my planner feel shiny and new always because I can just change the cover and then the whole planner feels brand new again. So since the Moxie Life ones, yes, they were gorgeous, especially this last year, they are not interchangeable. So I felt like, you know, it gets old looking at the same cover the whole time. So I did end up getting a flagship for next year. Of course, I'll do the review crew stuff when we're allowed to do that, but I definitely won't be franken planning the Moxie Life and the Erin Condren again. And that way each book can be separate. They can have their own individual coil size and paper size and what have you. But I am just really happy that I tried it out a couple of times so that I could show you guys all the flip through and show you how it went. Hope you liked this whole long flip through and explanation. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got coupon codes and affiliate links down below because I am an affiliate for Aaron Condren and Moxie Life. And I will link to the Club Moxie group down below, which I absolutely love. If you want to do any kind of goal setting, that's an amazing group to really just figure out your priorities, to focus in on things, to motivate you. I highly, highly recommend that group. I was thinking about it while I was editing this video. I was like, what would be the perfect setup for me? And the perfect setup for me would be some sort of like slim lined, almost like composition style bound book or a soft bound book that just has the goal setting pages and the reflection pages, no weekly pages for them. And it would be like, you know, a thinner, soft bound style book. And then I could just stack it in with this seven by nine. So I would want it to be a seven by nine size planner, but that would be my like perfect ideal option for goal setting. And I would want it seven by nine. They do have the A5 size companion notebooks and I love the idea of that, but it is just too small of a form factor for me. I really do want the full size page. So it could be some sort of seven by nine or eight by 10 soft bound style 
uh, like a composition notebook and I think that would work great for me. And while I do like the A5 size, the A5 size books that I have are Tomoe River paper. So they have much smaller grids and you can get a lot more on the page if the lines aren't like full size lines. Like Boxy Life lines are bigger lines. So there's just not a whole lot of room for somebody like me who will write big when there's bigger lines. And I do not want this video to just be like a Moxie Life gripe video because I do love Moxie Life. I love the system. The eight categories has been a complete game changer for me and this is my third I think third year into it, I will not give up the Moxie Life system itself. So 2025 will be my fourth year using the goal setting system. And it's just, you know, game changer, life changer for me. I still goal set every week and love the system. So I'm thinking moving forward, what am I gonna do with those weekly pages? Cause for now that's the option, but I'm really hoping for some sort of like larger companion notebook size thing, but I would like dated pages on there. And this is in no way a sneak peek or anything. It was not announced in the affiliate group. So don't get your hopes up that that's something that is coming because it is not coming anytime soon. But I would hope for that for the future because I really don't want to have two giant spiral bound planners in my lineup, especially in the case of the Moxie Life where I'm using just half of the book and not using the actual weekly pages. So I really liked last year when I started out really strong in the Moxie Life doing like daily wins. I really liked that. And I liked highlighting those in the different colors. And now that both of my kids are in school full time, I could definitely knock out a lot more goal setting and productivity because I do have more kid free time where I can focus on some things. So that's definitely a viable option. It could also be like a daily, like what happened in our day or feelings of the day, like lots of different journaly type of things could go in there. And it could also be just like weekly dedicated wins or goal related info. And so since the affiliate thing happened and I did end up getting all of the affiliate items that I wanted, I really have to think about what I'm gonna do with those weekly pages because I wanna use them and I hate having all those blanks. And so that's gonna be something that I have to brainstorm in the next couple of months. Okay, that's enough rambling and thoughts. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.